Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be covering how to properly tease hair with the Jatai Teasing Pen Comb Pro. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to cover is how to tease for a balayage. Now when I'm teasing for a balayage, I'm not looking for control or a compaction of teasing to build volume. I'm just looking to tease some of the hair out of the way so that my section is not so thick and it diffuses my color line. So that's what makes it easy to have a seamless color going from dark to lighter on the ends is by teasing and getting some of that hair out of the way. So I'll take plant one finger on the bottom, two fingers on top, roll that out of the way. I'll take the teasing pin comb pro put in all the way through and then just gently and easily push this up to the scalp. First section all the way to the scalp, next section maybe not quite so far up, third section maybe not quite so far up, oh, fourth section not quite so far up. So I'm not packing it all the way into the root, I'm packing it only enough to get it out of the way so that when I start to paint my color on, it's close as it's close to the scalp as I need and it's also going to give me less hair to deal with down here so when I put my bleach on it I put my foil in and let it process that it doesn't get in the way of my color but also since I didn't pack it in it makes it easy for me to go through comb the teasing out after I shampoo the color out then I have a nice easy seamless process now to go through and create some teasing for volume it's a different approach you know, I have to really compact some hair to make sure that it gives me some structure and some resilience to make the hair stack up so that it forces the hair at the root to stick up so that that gives me my volume. So now we're going to go through and I'm going to put one finger on one side of the section, two fingers on the other side, and I want to make sure I got that really tight. I'm going to over direct a little bit so that I can tease on base. I'm going to put my comb in however far I think I need to, push down and I'm going to start to see how much of that texture in the hair is starting to compact. I'm going to go a couple of inches out all the way down to the scalp. So as I'm pushing down, I'm pulling up. I'm going to pull the comb out again all the way down to the scalp, pull out, comb everything back together, tight. Now I can tell how compacted that is and that's already giving me quite a bit of volume through there. So from there, if I want to just comb it and brush it and have that sticking up, I can have a nice little puff right there in the front, turn the teeth away, smooth that out, push, there we got a nice little puff. But we're going to go through and do an up style and make something kind of big so I can control the hair as I'm styling it up, not just creating volume. I'm going to take a little bit underneath that at a little triangle section where I started my teasing on the first section, which was about right there. I'm going to start my teasing on this second section. Again, everything straight down to the scalp. If I did three teases on the first, I'm going to do three teases on the next one, pin that up out of the way comb everything together. All right, after I've got everything kind of smoothed in, I got one piece. I'm going to do a little bit of teasing there just to help it stick together. Comb that up. Take a hairpin. Put that right across. However far out from the scalp I think I need to do, the further from the scalp, the bigger the curl is going to be. Now I'm going to grab this hair, pull it out of the way, turn my pin upside down, and pin it right to the base where I had my teasing. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to take another pin with a little ski tip pointing down. Hold where my bo other bobby pin was. Slide that right across it. Come on, baby. Yeah, come on. Tell me if this hurts, okay? Slide that right through. So I'm going to interlock my pins so that stays. Now this little piece here, I'm just going to tuck to hide out of the way. All right, so I got my first, you know, kind of little curl there. I'm going to take another little piece here. Please follow Jatai Feather on your favorite social media platform. I have my little triangular section. So now I'm going to split that in half. I'm going to start on the side and do the same sort of compacting teasing, 
all the way to the scalp, add a little more, all the way to the scalp, pull the comb out every time. Get that hair out of the way. Comb the section together where I started the teasing. Comb all the way to the scalp. Come on, baby, every time. And now we're gonna do a little bit of back combing as I walk the section out. So as I walk the section out, that allows that hair to clump together a little bit better so it doesn't wanna separate. Take my pen, put it in, pull this hair underneath, take the pen, flip over, pin to the base. Hold that with your other finger, take your other pin, slide directly across that, and make sure that you crisscross so that you have a nice, secure base. This little piece here that's sticking out, I'm just gonna take a smaller bobby pin, put it in, twist, hide that in that little curl. Take my next little triangular section, get that compacted in, after I got the compaction, I'll do a little bit of teasing as I go out towards the middle, comb that together, make sure that that's looking good, put my pin in, twist underneath, pin in, hold it. Another little section, boom. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and click the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai Academy content. Now, as I work into the side, you know, I need to cover up some of this little area here and I'm gonna start dragging this and I need more control over the ends, not just control for the root. So the initial compaction gives me a nice little bit of control at the root. It gives me something to pin into, right? But it doesn't give me control over the section. So what I'll do is after I do my compact teasing, I'll pull that in the direction I want it to go, and I'm gonna start to very gently compact my teasing all the way to the tip. And you can see there how that whole piece now wants to stick together a lot easier than me having everything kind of fall apart. So the teasing does a couple of different things. It creates the, the compaction at the root to give me something to pin into, but it also gives me a little bit of stiction when I start to comb the section out. So now when I take my pin and put it in, I can go through, start to pin that in, and now I have a nice whole little panel of hair that wants to stick together as opposed to everything just wanting to just fly apart. And it's just that little bit of teasing as I'm walking the section in the direction that I want it to go. So this is a larger section, so what I'll do is I'll take do my compaction in sections. Once I get a good base there, I'll take my next little piece where I started the combing, where I started the teasing towards the scalp, that's where I'll continue all of my teasing as I start to walk the section back. After I get my compaction, smooth that out a little bit get everything kind of going in the direction that I want, and then gently walk that back combing out to kind of panel that whole section of hair together, smooth on the surface, a little bit of spray, smooth there. The rat tail helps smooth everything down find out where I want that to go, which I'm thinking about right there. So let's go through, take here, twist, pin that underneath. And now this piece, I don't even need to pin, I can just tuck that under that little panel. And now we've come to our last piece. We're gonna work this over and see what we can get out of this. I think I wanna do something kind of big and 
bold maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But the first thing I need to do is pack me a little bit of base in there so I can control it. I'll do three little teases. I'll add to that where I started the teasing. Compact to the root. My last piece, compact to the root. Now comb everything together where I started the teasing. That way I don't comb out the teasing that I put in it. I've just uniformed the section to make it all one piece. And then I'll start doing light little under combs from the back just to help compress this piece together so that it all starts to form one piece together as opposed to wanting to fall and separate. Little pin, twist under, slide that into the root teasing from the previous section. I'll take this piece here, kind of worm it back a little bit, think where I want that to go. Here is another little pin, twist, slide that through, bury that in, just to try to help that piece mold and flow into the rest. Now here I'll start to separate and start molding. So the teasing that I put in this, if the root gives me the structure and then the root teasing as I start to compress that out starts to give me a little bit more moldability and ability to control it. A little bit of hairspray. Oh, right in my face. So after I've gone through and done that, I got my little hairpins in to help mold the shape so I don't have to keep it real compressed. And then I'll put layers of hairspray on it just to help it set in and hold. I think she looks pretty good. She's ready for a night out on the town to go to Olive Garden. Maybe even, maybe even Red Lobster. Oh my goodness. Let's give us a review on our teasing techniques. First, for color, for a balayage specifically, we wanna do a long stroke tease, but not compact it in real tight. All we're looking to do is remove density. So the teasing pin comb really helps get me a nice even tease all the way from the tips into the root without compacting it in real tight, so it's easier to remove after we rinse the color out. It also diffuses that line by packing in my teasing and makes it much more seamless. Now, if I wanna do some styling, you know, that 60s kind of bouffant, you know, fembot sort of thing where I want the hair flowy, I wanna compact my teasing in really tight at the root, at the crown, so that I get that hair sticking up off the scalp. So I will start, say, it teasing from two or three inches away from the scalp, all the way compacted down to the scalp every time, three or four or five times, depending upon the thickness and the texture of the hair. After I've got everything teased in, I can comb and brush all the hair together as long as I don't comb it from where I started my teasing. That way all the hair can flow and I still have my teasing compacted in at the scalp. If I wanna do for upstyling, I wanna compact it in at the scalp just like I did for my styling, but then I can also feather that teasing out through the ends and give me much more control. So the teasing at the scalp gives me a structure of the shape that I can start pinning into, Teasing through the tips makes that whole panel much more structured and easier to mold and control. So it will stay in. So what makes the hair stay is not the hairspray. It's the teasing and the pinning that makes it stay. So with the Teasing Pin Comb Pro, I can really compact it in nice and tight. So check out the Detai Academy. There's all kinds of great information on there to make you a better hairstylist or a barber. Also, let us know what you'd like to see in the future. And thank you so much for watching.